Welcome to the Peloponnese region of Greece. Come with me in today's video as we explore ancient fortifications, eat incredible local food, and scale the side of a mountain. Greece is perhaps best known around the world for its beaches, and most people spend their time in the country at one of the islands. But I hope this video helps to shed a little bit of light on just what a magical place this region of Greece really is. It's for the magic seekers, the adventurers, the foodies, and the history buffs. In last week's video, I showed you the stunning town of Tsintsina, which has a year-round population of zero. This week, we'll discover many more hidden gems and tiny towns around the Peloponnese. Let's get exploring. Welcome to Yeraki Castle. This hill was fortified back in the 13th century. There's churches here, wall, stone walls and a castle on the top, but the views are amazing. These old stone buildings look so incredible against the, the green of the hills, the colorful flowers. Wow, <laughs> look at this. It's a little bit of a climb up here, <laughs> but well worth it. Sturdy shoes. Look at you up here, it's a little bit stony, but cleared steps and wow, worth it for this view. Look at this, amazing. I climbed all the way to the top to see where the castle itself once stood. Some of the walls remain. Best of all, though, is the view. After making my way back down to the parking lot, it was on to another small town to explore and have lunch. Welcome to Cosmas. The population of this mountain village is approximately 360 people. Just arrived in the village of Cosmas and it is definitely the busiest of all of the ones that I've been to on this trip so far. There's ca loads of cafes, people sitting outside, enjoying a little bit of this sunshine. We're gonna have lunch here, and uh, I filled up my bottle with the, the water that comes out from behind the church from the little fountain heads that are always on. Fresh spring water from the Greek mountains. Very delicious. Everywhere's very hilly. <laughs> We are 1,150 meters above sea level, which is pretty high up. Highest I've been in Greece so far, I think. I spent a little bit of time wandering around the small village. Then I went to the local museum, which explained a lot about the history of this village, including the huge destruction that the village suffered both during World War II and again during the Greek Civil War between 1946 and 1949. Then it was time for lunch at a little taverna located in the square, right next to the church. There were a few salads, a local beer, and I had a bowl of the local specialty, goat soup. The meat was so delicious, so tender, and the broth was rich and meaty. Another spectacular meal had in the mountains of Greece. From here, it was back on the road, winding through the mountains to get to a place that is famous in this region of Greece for tourists to visit. We have arrived at the monastery Elonis, which is built right up into this cliffside. I'll put a little picture of what it looks like from a distance if I had a drone, but we'll walk through see what it looks like. It's pretty incredible, these rocks. I feel like you're in the middle of a canyon. It's a little windy up here, it's quite chilly. So back accordingly. Well, you can really see how difficult it must have been to build this here. 
It is thought that the first monks sought refuge here in the 15th century, but it's not noted in writing as a functioning monastery until 1730. It's still a monastery now, so be sure to visit with respect for those that are here for prayer and those that live here. We finished the day at the coast. That's the beauty of the Peloponnese that I learned while exploring this region. You can spend your days in the mountains and your nights at the beach, all within an hour of each other. This is the town of Tiros. And while we came to enjoy the sunshine and the sea and the seafood, there was one other reason that we came to this historical place. We came to hear the locals speak their native language, Tsakonian. The Tsakonian language is a dialect of the Doric language, spoken in ancient Greece. And while it is in danger of becoming extinct, the locals of Tiros are doing their best to ensure that the next generation are learning it. <laughs> The next morning, I woke up in the sunny town of Leonidio. People travel from across the world to this town for a very specific reason. To climb the red rocks that are located here. As a novice climber, but avid hiker and lover of outdoor adventures, I was very excited to get harnessed in and try climbing. Greetings from Leonidio. We are here whispering because people are climbing, so you can't be loud. About to do some mountain climbing. That's what this place is famous for, so it's pretty cool to be here amongst the pros. This is not the first time I've done this, but it's been a very long time, so let's see how it goes. So cool. Ready to go. We stood in awe watching some of the people who had come here on their Sunday morning to climb these rocks with friends. Then it was my turn. It was exhilarating and I can promise it won't be the last time I try this on my travels. I finished this action-packed road trip around the Peloponnese in the town of Pulithra at the beachfront restaurant called Mirtun. The location was absolutely amazing and the food was even better. Plate after plate of vegetables, cheese, sardines, and a huge fish to finish it all off. I hope you enjoyed traveling around the magical Peloponnese with me. Join me next week as I share a Greek beach town that has history, stunning beaches, great food, and the world's most famous olives. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel, and I will see you next time.